We've all been there, standing in the grocery aisle, bombarded by diet fads that promise rapid weight loss and miraculous health benefits. One such trend that has gained immense popularity is the zero-carb diet. But can completely eliminating an entire food group truly be the key to long-term health and wellness? In this comprehensive exploration, we'll delve deep into the world of zero-carb diets, separating fact from fiction and providing you with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your dietary choices. We'll examine the potential benefits, uncover hidden risks, and explore the long-term implications of such a restrictive eating plan. Our journey begins by understanding the fundamental principles of zero-carb and low-carb diets, exploring their impact on our bodies, and analyzing scientific evidence to determine their true effectiveness. Join me as we embark on this enlightening journey toward a healthier, more informed you. Before we dive into the specifics, it's crucial to establish a clear understanding of what constitutes a zero-carb or low-carb diet. These dietary approaches have gained significant popularity in recent years, but many people still find themselves confused about the differences and benefits of each. While the terms are often used interchangeably, there are subtle yet significant differences between the two. Understanding these differences can help you make more informed decisions about your dietary choices and ultimately achieve your health and fitness goals more effectively. A zero-carb diet, as the name suggests, aims to completely eliminate carbohydrates from your diet. This is a very restrictive approach and requires careful planning and dedication. This means cutting out all sources of carbs including grains, fruits, vegetables, and even dairy products that contain naturally occurring sugars. Essentially, you would be focusing on foods like meats, fish, eggs, and fats. On the other hand, low-carb diets allow for a limited intake of carbohydrates, typically ranging from 20 to 100 grams per day, depending on the individual's needs and goals. This approach is more flexible and can be easier to maintain in the long term. The primary principle behind both diets is to force the body to shift its primary fuel source from carbohydrates to fat. This shift can lead to various health benefits including weight loss, improved blood sugar control, and increased energy levels. This metabolic state, known as ketosis, is achieved by drastically reducing carbohydrate intake, prompting the liver to produce ketones, which are then used by the body as an alternative energy source. Ketosis can also have other benefits, such as improved mental clarity and reduced hunger levels, making it an attractive option for many people looking to improve their overall health and well-being. It's important to note that while both zero-carb and low-carb diets can be effective, they may not be suitable for everyone. Individual needs, preferences, and health conditions should always be considered when choosing a dietary approach. Consulting with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian can provide personalized guidance and ensure that you are making the best choices for your unique situation. By understanding the basics of zero-carb and low-carb diets, you can take the first step towards making informed decisions about your nutrition and health. Whether you choose to eliminate carbs entirely or simply reduce your intake, the key is to find a sustainable approach that works for you and supports your long-term health goals. One of the most well-known and widely practiced examples of a zero-carb diet is the ketogenic diet. This highly restrictive eating plan focuses on consuming high amounts of healthy fats, moderate protein, and minimal carbohydrates, pushing the body into a state of ketosis. The ketogenic diet has gained significant traction in recent years for its purported benefits in weight loss, blood sugar control, and even improved cognitive function. However, it's essential to acknowledge that the long-term effects of such a restrictive diet are still being studied and more research is needed to fully comprehend its implications for overall health. While the ketogenic diet and other zero-carb approaches may offer certain advantages, it's crucial to approach them with caution and consult a healthcare professional before making any drastic dietary changes. The following sections will delve deeper into the specific benefits and risks associated with zero-carb diets, providing a balanced perspective to guide your decisions. Fueling Your Body – How Zero-Carb Diets Impact Energy when we consume carbohydrates, our bodies break them down into glucose, which is then used as the primary source of energy for our cells. Glucose is essential because it provides a quick and efficient source of fuel, especially for high-energy organs like the brain and muscles. This is why athletes often load up on carbs before a big event. However, in the absence of carbohydrates, as seen in zero-carb diets, the body is forced to find alternative pathways to fuel its functions. 
This can be a significant adjustment for many, as our bodies are naturally inclined to use glucose for energy. This is where ketosis comes into play. Ketosis is a metabolic state where the body, deprived of its usual carbohydrate intake, starts to break down fat stores to produce ketones which can be used as an alternative energy source. By drastically reducing carbohydrate intake, the liver begins to produce ketones, derived from stored fat, which act as an alternative energy source. This process can be beneficial for weight loss, as it encourages the body to burn fat more efficiently. While this metabolic shift can lead to initial feelings of fatigue and weakness, commonly referred to as the keto flu, these symptoms are usually temporary. The body is essentially reprogramming itself to use a different type of fuel, which can take some time. Proponents argue that once adapted, the body experiences sustained energy levels throughout the day. Many people report feeling more energetic and focused once they have fully transitioned into ketosis, claiming that the energy derived from ketones is more stable and long-lasting compared to glucose. However, it's important to note that the long-term effects of relying primarily on ketones for energy are still being investigated. While short-term studies show promising results, more research is needed to understand the full impact of prolonged ketosis on overall health. Some studies suggest that prolonged ketosis may have negative implications for certain individuals, particularly those with underlying health conditions. It's crucial to consult with a healthcare provider before making significant changes to your diet, especially if you have pre-existing medical issues. Balancing your nutritional needs is key to maintaining optimal health. The Weight Loss Equation – Separating Fact from Fiction in this section, we will delve into the truths and myths surrounding zero-carb diets and their impact on weight loss. One of the most alluring aspects of zero-carb diets is their purported ability to promote rapid weight loss. These diets often promise quick results, which can be very appealing to those looking to shed pounds fast. While it's true that many individuals experience significant weight reduction in the initial stages of such diets, it's essential to understand the mechanisms behind this phenomenon and whether it translates to sustainable, long-term results. The initial excitement of seeing the numbers drop on the scale can be motivating, but it's important to look beyond the surface. The initial weight loss observed on zero-carb diets is primarily attributed to water loss. This is a critical point that often gets overlooked in the excitement of early success. When carbohydrates are restricted, the body's glycogen stores, which bind water, are depleted, leading to a decrease in water weight. Glycogen is stored in the liver and muscles, and for every gram of glycogen, the body stores about 3 grams of water. So, when glycogen is burned for energy, the water is released and excreted, resulting in rapid weight loss. Additionally, the ketogenic state induced by zero-carb diets is known to suppress appetite, further contributing to reduced calorie intake and subsequent weight loss. This appetite suppression can make it easier for individuals to stick to their diet plan in the short term. However, it's crucial to recognize that this initial weight loss may not necessarily reflect fat loss. The body can lose muscle mass and water weight, which are not the same as losing fat. And maintaining such a restrictive diet over the long term can be challenging, often leading to weight regain once normal eating patterns are resumed. The body may also adapt to the low-carb intake, slowing down metabolism and making it harder to lose weight over time. It's important to consider the sustainability of any diet and whether it can be maintained in the long run without negative health consequences. For long-term success, a balanced approach that includes a variety of nutrients is often more effective. Consulting with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian can provide personalized guidance and support. Remember, the goal is not just to lose weight quickly, but to achieve and maintain a healthy weight in a sustainable way. Blood Sugar and Beyond Long-Term Health Implications Beyond weight loss, zero-carb diets have gained significant attention for their potential impact on blood sugar control, particularly for individuals with type 2 diabetes. By eliminating carbohydrates, which are the primary contributors to blood sugar spikes, these diets aim to stabilize blood glucose levels and reduce the need for medication. Studies have shown that ketogenic diets, a type of zero-carb diet, can effectively lower blood sugar levels and improve insulin sensitivity in individuals with type 2 diabetes. However, it's crucial to note that these studies are often short-term and involve strict medical supervision. Moreover, the long-term effects of zero-carb diets on other aspects of metabolic health such as cholesterol levels and cardiovascular disease risk remain a subject of debate and require further investigation.